What's up, low gang? Welcome back to another Taco Bell food review. For some reason, this was highly requested. Um, so you ask and you shall receive. Today, I'm gonna be looking at the Big Cheese It box. Really, the main star of the show, of course, is the Big Cheese It Crunch Wrap Supreme, which I have some initial reservations about, but I'll I'll get into that once I actually get into it. This is the box, after all, which in hindsight I really shouldn't have gotten. It's pretty late at night, and I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking snooze right after I'm done. With this but either way we got some of these seasoned fries here uh they're like they're like fries with seasoning on them uh we've got the coveted nacho cheese bland as always you know nothing new nothing special but nothing offensive you know it's all you could ever ask for in nacho cheese uh we also got a beefy five layer burrito um this thing is kind of a bit of a fucking chonker i'll tell you that like this is this is on its own like a like a nice hefty Nice hefty thing, but of course, like I said, the star of the show, of course, is the big cheese it crunch wrap supreme, which I, you know, in in this in my review fashion, which I have clearly solidified and am not developing right now. I'll save the main course for last. Oh, and of course, I can't forget the trusty. Oh my God, there's no fucking ice. There's no ice in this fucking thing. Anyways, uh, there's I got some Baja Blast. No ice. What a bummer. Anyways, let's just get into the fries. I think I've had these, but also they're soggy, which is really cool. Anyways, we'll dip into this. Jesus Christ, they're too soggy to actually, like, dip into the freaking cheese. It's like, it's like, uh, it's just, like, flopping around. Get these french fries from Viagra, would ya? So, after running a couple tests, um, these fries are, uh, pretty good. I like them. The blandness of the cheese is actually not too bad here because the fry has so much flavor to offer. The cheese is just nice and nice, like, a thing to top it off, really. It just, it just rounds out the flavor. Damn fine fries. But I guess I should try one without any, uh, without any cheese. Mmm. They, uh, taste kind of like, um, what's that fucking place called? Arby's. It kind of tastes like Arby's curly fries. Curly fry. Curly fry. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Ugh, another beefy five layer burrito. Hmm. So, most of that was just bean. I don't know if they have this like segmented off or if this. Oh, wait, no. Hold on. Initial estimates were off. Initial estimates were. Wait, hold on. What the fuck is this burrito supposed to be? Because it says. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the website right now. That, uh, it's it says beefy five layer. But this is just bean, my dude. So, maybe I'm getting, like, I mean, maybe Tails is getting trolled here. I don't know. Or maybe I'm just stupid, I don't know. I have no idea, let's see, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll dig a little bit deeper into the mine shaft here and we'll see um, if there's any diamonds. Oh, that's where she was hiding. Or some meat in the back there. I just had to move the junk out of the way. Now, that, not that the beans are bad, but you know what I mean. That right there is an edible burrito. Gonna wash this down with some... Baja Blast is getting warmer by the fucking second. I could just put ice in it myself, but I'm not gonna do that. On to the big cheese it I have some concerns. It's cold right now, so... I, I know biting into this, it's gonna be soggy, which is my main issue with this. The whole point of having a fucking cheese it or at least in my mind, <laughs> having a cheese it in this in this thing would be to add an extra crunchy layer, but it's probably not gonna be crunchy. If it is, I'm gonna be shocked and you're gonna fucking hear it. But I'm calling it right now, it's not gonna be crunchy, and it's just gonna be another cheese flavor, but we'll, we'll see. Jesus, is there even a cheese it in here? How many bites do I gotta take? God damn. Oh, yeah, it's in there, but it's, like I said, soggy. So I just can't exactly tell that I'm eating. It, it doesn't taste bad. Like, I can, I can taste the cheese it and it gives it that nice zest that, that a cheese it does. Mm. Not the sound of me crunching on a cheese it mind you, if the mic picks that up. Mm. So I'm just getting really intimate with this uh, big cheese it I think I've had enough of it to really give some, give an opinion here, and I don't think any of you are going to like what I have to say. Let's get the good uh, out, out of the way first. It tastes fine. Like, I'd probably eat it again. Not for the cheese it of course. You know, I'll say what everyone's been thinking. Where's this fucking cheese it I'm like halfway through this now, and I ain't seeing no big cheese it Like, I can taste, like, the, the hint of a cheese it somewhere. 
in some places. But I ain't seen no big cheese it, guys. Did the fucking delivery driver take the cheese it out? What the hell? Okay, that was a big cheese it bite. That was actually pretty good. Like I said, it's good, but um, I gotta say the the cheese it department is severely lacking. I just don't think it was a good idea uh, to encase cheese its in a warm, wet environment. It kind of ruins what they would be put there for, which is for texture. At least for me, I think it would be it their <laughs> biggest draw. But um, I didn't get any of that. I was left down to the very last bite. I'm not done with it, but. I will be left wondering down to the very last bite. Hmm, where's my cheese it? That's that's gonna wrap this little review up of the fucking big cheese it box. I give it three Wimbleys out of five. Uh, I probably would not get this again, but yeah, that's that's really all I gotta say on this one. Uh, yeah, see ya.